Hello my soccer universe to finally the 23-24 Europa League jersey review and this year since we're doing it uh, ahead of the Christmas break we're looking at all the teams that are present in the group stage which I'm very excited about but yeah I'm sorry I wanted to actually do this a month earlier however life I really could not find the time this type of videos are a little bit more work than other videos that I'm publishing so I had to postpone it now we are in December, just ahead of the last match day that I'm shooting this. I'm going to split this review into four videos uh, with two groups in each video. Uh, basically, we'll have first video group A, group B, then C, D, E, F uh, is part three and G, H is part four. Within each video, we go group by group and within each group, I'll sort the teams sort of alphabetically. If you would like all the pictures that you see in these videos are taken from um, football kit archive a website that I can warmly recommend and all the jerseys are rated from 1 to 10 a little caveat also uh, there are some teams in there mostly Eastern European former Soviet Union teams that I did not get either the best pictures but also not the full um the full kit overview so i might skip there a little bit so and this part three of course has to be my favorite because it, it contains my team the hottest club in the world lusk and that's actually the team that we are starting and i was a little bit surprised but uh very pleasantly so when they released the europa league jerseys because it's basically just the home jersey from the bundesliga where that we have already reviewed However, without the yellow sleeves and suddenly this jersey and it's also a little bit more cleaned up. It looks actually really, really, really nice. And I've been already saying while watching the games uh, in the Europa League games, I really want to have this jersey because I, I really think uh, it works. Yes, we can argue the half, half black, white on one side and then uh, white on the other. But this goes back uh, to a jersey that has actually been used. They say 1969, but I'm absolutely sure that in the European Cup 1965, they were using already a black version of this one, which we'll see in just a little bit. It's a really nice looking jersey. The only thing I don't like is the logo. And they used the round logo uh, that it would be on the center for the, uh, for the home jer jersey. They used it actually on the pants, which, which is really, really nice. So I take the logos a little bit down, also the BW, the WT, you know, broken up stripes, blah, blah, blah. I really like this shirt. I want to have this shirt with a particular number on there. It's an eight star. Arguably, the black one is even better. Yes, the pink logos, not so great, but the black one looks really, really cool. Um, it has more personality in black. White looks great, but black, I gotta say, has... As I say, more personality. That's why, yeah, I'm probably still gonna give it the same grade. Although here I'm almost leaning nine, but it's the same problem. I don't like a logo, the pink uh, B dot 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 and the broken up stripe. Other than that, it's a really really cool one. Eight stars. I'm really really happy with the shirts, and they continue with that. But then it has to be mostly pink, and probably I should make a video. Let me know if you were interested. Why Lask fans hate pink? Um, Again, if you like pink uh, uh, Georgia's, you, you will say this is not a bad shirt. I agree with you. It's just the fact that they use the pink uh, that annoys many people. And I mean, well, came around to see why. And yeah, fortunately, the last clue is not uh, with a pink background because I think that will drive everyone crazy around here. If I just judge it by design, yes, with the colors, we need to go down, down, down. The design, again, is the same thing. Also note that the BWT logos on the shoulders are here in black, which looks so much better. I think I should do the same thing on the home jersey and on the away jersey, but alas, not. Still, five stars because it's pink. Now we're going to the biggest team in the entire Europa League, which is, of course, Liverpool. Uh, and I have to say Nike did a really good job here. In a very simple shirt and still looking very much class. I wonder if a golden liver bird would have put this over the top. But the thick white collar with the thick white sleeve cuffs, it just looks Liverpool to me. It just looks Liverpool. It's very much a retro shirt, 
But if you go through the Liverpool uh, jersey his, his history, they had exactly that. Cannot really fault it. Um, again, golden li lima board, but it's about as good as it gets. Uh, while I like my last jersey better, I don't. Ha I have less scribes, and that's why. Because for full retro, I'm gonna go nine here. Yeah, uh, don't kill me over that. I actually also like the away jersey. Yeah, this goes back to a design. I think it was used in the '90s when it was Adidas. Then they had it also with New Balance. There's something about the green and white quartered look that actually looks really, really cool. Yes, it's a little bit pixelated to make it stand out. The color on this picture looks ridiculously tiny. Um, I hope it's a little bit wider because otherwise... <laughs> but other than that, I have to say, uh, there's something about it's not very Liverpool, but there's president. And you know, there always have been green Liverpool jerseys as well. So for that reason, I actually I uh, do enjoy the, 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 this one too. But you know, Let's not go over over and say seven. And then the jersey they were wearing in lint. It's the same thing that we saw the template at the Women's World Cup that many of the Nike teams had, like France, home, England, and so on. Uh, here it is in purple with some black and then uh, white. Doesn't do much for me, honestly. I think we've seen purple Liverpool shirts before as well. And since they've worn it in lint, I probably will try to get this on the cheap sometime. But I have to have to say this one leaves me rather disappointed. And I'm going to go uh, with five star because I even think the purple could have been a better uh, shade. Let's go to a true purple team, which is Toulouse Craft. Purple and white stripes. I have to say I like it. Uh, it looks very classy. And, you know, we have striped sleeves. I mean, how can I not like it? This group is really good looking. Well, I have to say, this is a really, really good local group because even the last team, University of Central Lost, looking quite, quite well. I always wonder, I mean, Toulouse had a much simpler logo. I really like it per se, but I always wonder whether it's not too busy for such, a, um, you know, in a digital age. Cannot fault it. I, I really like this one as, as well. Um, yeah. Eight or nine. Let's go nine as well. And yes, I still like the last home jersey better uh, for me, like liking, but yeah. The away jersey, I really like that they went double purple. Uh, it's just the white color doesn't quite do it. Uh, so it's a little bit a uh, step down, but uh, in a way, it's also a really, really cool jersey, I have to, I have, have, to, have to say. But as I say, step down. It's eight stars. And then they have also a very interesting uh, third jersey, which is in white, which kind of makes sense there is some patterning in there again would like to know if some pro, 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 there's some uh, artist reference there um it's not bad but of the ones that i've seen so far it's also not the best one um but i think seven stars is about the right grade for it and then we go to union saint julois uh which now switched to nike and I really like the last season's self-produced jerseys as well, but this one, um, I really like the pin, the double pinstripes ac across. It's yellow and then this worn with bl uh, with blue pants. It looks actually really cool. Um, the logo also stands out quite nicely. Uh, maybe the sleeves, you know, similar to sporting, but it doesn't bother me as much here. This is the this is the worst home jersey in Group E, if you ask me, and it's still a very very good seven stars and one could make an argument for eight um in europe they have a slightly different sponsor but it's it's really really a cool jer jersey the away jersey in white with the uh it almost looks a little bit like Boca band i'm not sure about the outline swoosh uh though but i think this is also uh this is an in interesting one maybe the fade is not the greatest in there uh but yeah i like it too i give it seven um and then we have the third jersey that they wore when they were playing in lint which for that reason makes it already a jersey that probably i should at some time get uh but you know first get the home jersey for lask and then the away jersey and then maybe let's look at, at the others but yeah um it's also it makes sense it is kind of a reversal it's a simple shirt it's not as great as the others but it looks great in the color calm calm combination so it, i give it six stars a really really good looking group and not only because the hottest team of the world is in there let's move on to group f 
and we'll start at uh, Maccabi Haifa. Honestly, last year in the Champions League, George Zero, they were an absolute mess. Now they switch over to Adidas and suddenly it makes all sense. You don't need five jerseys to play against all kinds of team. We have a purely green home jersey. Yes, I like the green and white stripes, but I think purely green makes total, total sense. There's also an interesting pad pattern in there that is a template. It's nothing bad. Uh, I would say it's a solid six star shirt and the away jersey is just white. Maybe the sponsors and so on could be green, but you know, nothing bad. Uh, you know, the three stripes also, it's very, 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 very plain, but for some reason here, I kind of like it. Um, let's go five. Let's, let, let's go five. It's not the greatest jersey. And then they have a black third jersey. Again, I would like to see a little bit more green, like with Aris Limassol. Uh, and for that reason, I'm going to give, yeah, I'm also going to give this five, but you know, this is my only gripe right here. Let's stay with green. Panathinaikos go back to Adidas and get actually, I mean, on one side a template shirt, but in Panathinaikos colors, I would say uh, kind of a little bit of a darker shade here. I really like the clover uh, very much out there. Um, I also think that the pattern very much represents the clover as, as well. So it's not a uh, bad, badly chosen. Is it an outstanding jersey? No, it's not. In Europe, it will not have the Stoiximan uh, sponsor like we had with um, Olympiakos. But I think over, overall the jersey is quite useful and I, I, I actually cannot really fault it as such. Yes, could be a little, a little bit more excited, a little bit like Haifa. I actually want to go seven and not six here because uh, the pattern actually fits with the crest and you know, the simple clover works out quite nice. And then the away jersey is a nice pinstripe number uh, in the Adidas template. We'll probably have the patches that I don't like, but other than that, pinstripe, green and white, what's wrong? Nothing. Eight stars for this one. And then we have the home jersey also in a black green version uh, as a third jersey which i wondered does this make sense yeah if you wear it as an all dark out, out outfit i guess it does um not super soul so but like i can see why um we have it so gonna give this also a seven star which leaves us with the two biggest teams of this group uh last we'll start with start ren uh which have this weird puma collar that um yes it's a floppy color however it's kind of tied together on the back that as i said i really like this uh, classic celtic pattern all over the jersey the red um uh the red collar and the uh, the cuffs it looks actually quite nice i have to, have, I have to say it's definitely one of the better render jerseys in the last few years I'm gonna also give this a high grade i think this is an eight star we, I'm really liking the jerseys in these groups here overall. The away jersey, of course, plays uh, is based on the Breton flag, which is the only black and white flag in the world. I think the ermeline pattern could be a little bit more, not just uh, hinted at, but if this is all black, I think it would be great. And for some reason, make the crest in clubs colors and not as a monochromatic the color lo lo looks look, looks a little bit old but overall i i like it I, I i like it this is one would love to have it not as good as the 2010 away jersey that had a similar effect uh that looked actually awesome but i think it's also eight star i can see the reference there um and the the, the reason behind time design that's why i think this is a really cool one and then a black and a gold third jersey. Uh, note that there's also a little bit of a gray effect in, in there. You see it especially on the crest. It does look less. And since black is one of the club's colors, a little bit gold in there. I wonder why the gold probably there's some celebration go, go, uh, go, going on. But it's also, uh, that's a nice one. Again, I'm a little bit tired of black and gold overall. That's why, yeah, nah, it's a nice one. Eight stars. I was about to give two, give, give seven, but let's stay with eight. Ren also looking good. Uh, we have really highly rated teams there. Let's see if Villarreal um, keeps us up there. Well, it's a Villarreal jersey. I actually do like the color. I'm not so sure about the sleeve cuffs though. Uh, they look odd with the just one the dark blue hanging a little bit a little bit over. Uh, there's an interesting wavy pattern in there. Run of the mill. Villarreal just doesn't do anything wrong, so we go seven stars. I actually like that that's with the Navy a little bit personality. However, the away jersey, that's probably the worst jersey we see in this entire video. 
uh, two shades of red, then with some odd yellow splashes in there and this weird color. I think on the sleeve cuffs, I can see they want to get maybe a little bit of a Spanish flag in there, although I think then the, the bottom sleeve cuff is a little bit too thick for that. Or maybe a little bit of reference also to the Valencian flag that we see in the crest. Okay, do it in one red. I think this, this Arsenal type looks already odd and then the color is just an absolute mess, especially with the two yellow specks in there. Not liking that one, not the, the digging that one. That to me is a four. And the last one, nah, I'm sorry. VRL is really letting this video down. I guess the gray with the pink and so on. Yeah. No, no, doesn't do it for me. To me, this is the inverse. I'm gonna give this a three star and we're done with group F. This was probably my favorite Europa League video so far. Please let me know which jerseys in here you uh, liked and disliked. Also, if you agree and disagree with me, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.